incredible afternoon everyone incredible afternoon incredible afternoon all right hello 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 everyone we are going to do a little bit of subbing today in a different kind of way I have been asked before because people have seen this and I thought about doing it um, as well. I just never really got around to doing it. And what we're going to do is put, we're going to brand on the bottom of it. All right. Okay. I'm trying to reset something here. Hold on one second. So as you guys come in, uh, double tap the screen, hit that share button. Uh, let me know who's, if you're watching on TikTok, hit that double tap the screen, hit the share button. Even if you just click share and click copy link, that does help the broadcast. Um, but of course, I would like for you to actually share it out and double tap that screen. Also, let me know uh, where you're watching from. And if you do, if you currently do sublimation tumblers. I'm just trying to get this properly set up. All right, there we go. So I had to get that all set up. And also we're gonna share this out. I'm just waiting for it to pop up on my, on my notifications so that I can get this all shared out. Now, the crazy thing is the ones that I did already were already boxed up. Actually, no, I do have one here. It's kind of messed up though. I tried to do this one with my mini press. Didn't quite work out the way that I wanted it to work out, um, but you can still kind of see what we're going to do here. So I'm gonna just, I'm gonna, I'm gonna prop this one up. Well, can we see that one? I wanna prop it up. All right, let's see. We're going to put that bad boy right there. This is what we are about to do, okay? Um, I am, oh, here we go. So let's go ahead and go over to this video. Let's hit share. Uh, and we're going to share this out. One second. Did you know? Okay. Alrighty, I'm just sharing it out. So you guys, as you come in, just continue to uh, get, uh, tap the screen, give the video a thumbs up, hit that share button uh, so that we can uh, get the broadcast distributed over on Facebook, YouTube, and TikTok. And we're gonna get started momentarily, okay? How are you guys doing today? Are you guys having a good Thursday so far? If you are just coming on or you're just kind of peeking in, you may want to stick around. We are going to submit the bottom of a tumbler using an easy press. All right, we're going to do that using an easy press. So you may want to stick around if this is something that you want to be able to do. If you've thought about branding your tumblers,
All right, we are all shared out from the ones that I'm going to do. And let's get started. All right. So incredible, incredible afternoon to everyone that's watching. Thank you guys so very much for commenting. Thank you guys for jumping on. Incredible, incredible afternoon to each and every one of you. Um, uh, thank God I was texting I was texting you regarding how to or oh, how to do this. Okay. Uh, incredible afternoon, incredible afternoon. Sneaking in, watching from work. Shh, I won't tell if you won't tell. Hey, princess, and thank you for the inbox. Glad I made it. Um, and I love subbing tumblers, especially tapered ones. I actually do like the tapered ones, especially the glitter ones. Um, yes, uh, from Atlanta, yes, I do summation tumblers. Not yet, but I want to try. So if you want to try, if, I mean, if you have a summation printer, of course, it's really easy to set one up and print out. What I always recommend for those who are doing sublimation, if you're wanting to do a tumbler, um, I talked about this a little bit on yesterday where I say to always do tests, like have you a tumbler? This is your sacrificial lamb and it's going to be the one that you kind of press to get used to, um, you know, to also see if the colors are right. You don't want to just go straight to doing a full tumbler, a full wrap tumbler, because those seams will have you discouraged and maybe not wanting to do tumblers. So I don't recommend starting out with a full tumbler. Do something where it's like just the word bride or your business name, just something small or something that you can do like, um, like just do multiple tests. So in my summation seminar, we did like just to do black and then we practice it with a color just so they can practice on the scenes. We didn't do the whole entire thing. Um, you know, you may want to do some things where it's just small designs. Just because it's a sub tumbler, guys, doesn't mean that you have to do the whole thing. I actually do a lot of orders. These are a lot easier to do. Really, really great money makers when you don't have to worry about seams and worry about the top and things like that. These are really easy to do like in a mug press because the design portion, even like with a mug press, it will... Okay, I'll open that one up just so I can go past it. Ugh. I hate this one sometimes. So even on a mug press, I can end up doing that whole section right there in one press. Be oh, wait, you guys can't see that. Hold on. Boom. So I can put that in there and I can put that in the mug press and it will do the whole, like that one little section. So you don't have to always do a full wrap tumbler. Um, this is a great way to start off with practicing doing tumblers and then build your way up to doing the full wrap. One of the things I do recommend that everyone do is to take a tumbler, go to our website, get the color chart. It's already set up for a 20 ounce tumbler and you're going to press this to a tumbler and it gives you your color chart on a hard substrate and you get to kind of see your colors. If you have issues with reds, it's going to show you like where your best reds are and which color codes are your best reds. So I highly recommend going over to the website and um, getting the tumbler chart, I mean the color chart and subbing it to your tumbler. Our color chart comes with it already set up. And if you have different printers, like you want to see the difference in how your F-170, your Sawgrass, your Epson Workforce printer, your Epson EcoTank printer uh, get you, you know, however many, however many printers you have, you know, have a tumbler for that. And then right here, you're going to put what printer it was printed from. So like for me, I have that one where it says it was printed from my 2720. All right. So that's that. Um, also... Another thing, if you're wanting to uh, bump up your marketing and your branding, another thing that I recommend doing is putting your logo. This is why it is so important to have a real logo, a quality logo, so that it, well, I'm saying real, I meant to say a versatile logo, um, so that you can use it in different ways. If I had a logo that had glitter and, you know, I only see it that way. That's the only way my designer gave it to me. That's the only way I designed. I just have a JPEG. It has black around it. You're going to be very limited. So when, even if you have all the glitter, so I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that, but you should always have your logo in its raw form and you should love your logo in its raw form. 
no glitz and glam, no cut, like no color, um, no glitter, no embossing, no shadows, no metallics. You should love your logo straight up as is. That's why good logos start as a vector. And then you can take it into programs and like add all that pizzazz to it. But what you can do is have your logo really small in the corner. All the big brands have their labels somewhere and their logo somewhere. Why are you as a small business not branding and identifying that it's yours? So where someone see like, you know, someone else sees it, your logo is there. So you can put your logo. Oh yeah, that camera. No way, no. It is it is not giving on um, the way that it should. Um, but on, on TikTok, this looks absolutely amazing. But you can put your logo um, in the corner when you're setting up your template. Just kind of put it off to the side. I normally have it a little bit closer to um, the edge, but this one is like right here. So this is another way to brand it. Um, but if you want your website, then you put it on the bottom. Put a nice little message there. So this one just says, thank you for your order from shop.hs6365.com. You are incredible. And it's going to be hard for you guys to see it. Let me see. Maybe if I take some of the light down. All right. So, yeah, not so bright. You got, and this one was one I tried to do it with my, the, the little mini press. Didn't really like that method. All right. So that's that one. Now, if you are enrolled in my 30 day training, I did just do a video in the group and I'm going to post the exclusive um, YouTube link in the course, just in case you don't want to, you know, I know there are some people that like to watch the videos on the big screen. And if you can watch it from YouTube, you're, you're able to like uh, stream it onto your TV and then watch it on your TV and then work on your computer if you don't have a dual screen. So I am going to post that link um, on the dashboard of uh, the course so you guys can watch that as well. But I did do a video showing a refresher on how you can create templates. And I did like how I showed you how to create a template for this and gave some tips and things like that for, for that. So this is printed to our um, eight and a half by 14 to maximize um, the amount of prints that we use. So again, this is printed on honestly speaking summation paper. Now, a little other, like one more, like before we get into this, one little quick, uh, I guess you can say gem for you guys. Even if you are someone that wants to focus on team small, y'all know how I feel about team small. I like doing smaller items. I'm not really big like on sublimation shirts, like, well, like bigger items because it takes a little bit more work. Sometimes people really don't want to pay um, the value of these bigger prints and we have to tape them all together. I like quick, easy, simple. Like I like doing designs that are like this, where man, it's like one press, keep it moving, shot it and, you know, one and done. Um, but if you have a wide format printer, right? One of the benefits of having a wide format printer is not necessarily to have to do bigger items. It's to be more efficient efficient in your production. So on this one, I did eight and a half by 14 because that's the paper that was in there that was fast dry. But if I wanted to be a little bit more efficient um, in saving, um, when you really break down the cost analysis of it, me printing more of these on a 13 by 19 sheet, or if I had like a fast dry sublimation paper roll, or let's say I'm putting on something that's fabric, putting it on the roll and printing it out that way. Your printer prints more efficiently when it's in one print versus you have like it having to keep picking up sheets. So wide format doesn't mean that you have to do large items. You can be doing using it for efficiency because the cost for each one of these will change depending on if you're putting it on eight and a half by 14 where you can only do uh, four rows, eight, um, eight and a half by 14. I was able to do five rows. If I'm doing 13 by 19 and putting them on there and we break it down and we do the math on it, each one of these will technically cost a little bit less. Um, therefore, um, keeping more profit and revenue in, you know, in your pockets or your business account and things like that. So think about that when it comes to getting like larger paper and stuff like that. It's great for smaller items. And what this is what's called ganging. So you're going to do a gang sheet 
of those, all right? So that's another little tip for y'all. But let's get into what you guys are sticking around for, and that is putting this on the bottom. Um, these have different, hold on, I got to go here because of my cameras, I got to do TikTok and then I got to come over here to you guys. So these have different size walls. So the outside walls are different. Um, in the 30 day training, I kind of broke that down and why I ended up taking out the part that says, uh, and I'm going to do something else when I, when we send these out, I'm going to add something else to the packaging. Um, but because each one of these, depending on which vendor I had got it from, had different bottoms, it was just team too much trying to, you know, rearrange this for this tumbler and remember for this one, remember for that one. But for the most part, they all have like, I made the text fit the walls, like the smaller walls, which will make it where it will also fit the wider ones. Okay. So I end up doing that to where it's just universal and I'm able to just put it on any tumbler. So I didn't have to think too much about it. So we have two different ones here and we're going to put it on the bottom. Now, these are some really old tumblers that were, um, uh, that I've made a while ago. So I do have to wipe down the bottom of them, which I have no idea where my alcohol is. So guess what? We're going to use some Windex because I have no idea where my alcohol went in here. So we're just going to use a little bit of Windex. Wipe that bad boy down. Because these have been used, well, not used, but they've been on, they've been made for a while and kind of gone back and forth on shelves and using videos and stuff like that. So might be some debris on the bottom and dust and dirt on the bottom of these. So we're just going to wipe them down, make sure we're working with the clean surface. When I take them out of the box, they're pretty, you know, I really don't do a lot of like wiping them down when I take them out of the box, depending on what well, I take a look at them. And if they look like they have a film on it, then I'll wipe it down. But my ones from Johnson's Plastics Plus, I never have to wipe them down. All right. We're going to go ahead and cut this out. And if you want to be even more efficient as far as like you not having to cut them down, you can minimize how many you print and then use your print and cut feature depending on which cutter you have um, if you want to not have to manually do this. Or when you're watching your favorite show, like have these printed out while you're watching your favorite show, set, you know, print out a bunch of them, do the cutouts of it, and then um, uh, put them like in a little box or a bag or something. That way when you're doing a tumbler, you can just pull it out and then go. All right, but well, we're gonna have to cut this in a circle. You do want to cut it close to the edge of the design. That way you have some area for the tape to actually stick to the tumbler. So you don't want to leave a lot around it. Same thing with the inside part. You want to leave some exposed so that your tape will touch it. If you do it just like this, you may not get good pressure. Your good, not say good pressure, good contact. So then I'm just going to take my scissor. Oh, you don't have to do that one. I was my the other one. We're just going to fold it in half. And we're just going to cut a half moon. All right. So we're going to do another one. Now, if I'm being 100% honest, I mean, I like the sublimation version of this. And I may end up doing quite a few of these, but I have a Roland BN20. So my go-to for this, especially if I want to put something in the middle, will probably be just to print on permanent vinyl so I can put it on there. But if you don't have things like that, you don't want to use sticker paper. Vinyl is a little bit different than using sticker paper because vinyl is a, per it's a permanent adhesive. If you wash it and stuff, it's not going to come up. Um, but if you're just using like sticker paper, you may have you'll have to seal that with epoxy, not just Mod Podge. So this is a great uh, way to do this. All right. So then we're going to just put it on our tumbler. 
And I'm going to use my Y tape. Y'all know I love my Y tape, but you can also use your thin tape as well. And we're just going to line it up. I need to cut a little bit here. All right. Hold it down, put a little piece of tape on it. And of course, to make sure it goes down even, you want to go um, across and then across that way just to make sure that it's stretched out evenly. Now, you can continue to go around it, or if you end up having wide tape, we do sell the wider tape. It'll make it a little bit easier if you can just put that whole thing down and just go. But you do, because you do want to make sure that it's taped all the way around so that it does not gas off. I keep forgetting to bring mine from the house. One second. I need a two-inch tape. I thought you brought my stuff from the house. I don't want to do that. Right here. Okay, thank you. Actually, no. Is there a three or four over there? I swear that man I'm married to was absolutely amazing. I was kept saying, I don't need it yet, I don't need it yet, and he still brought all my stuff. So if I do the four inch one, I can just cover the whole thing. This is the three inch one. No, this is the two inch one. The four or the three, the two is not gonna cover the whole thing. You'll still end up using two pieces. So y'all wonder why I like having different size tapes. They serve different purposes. So I'm just gonna take a piece of this four inch. Uh, I, I need the three. The three would be a little bit more efficient. If you see the three, can you bring it to me, please? So I'm just going to, or just bring, or can I get it? Can I buy a new three? I don't want to take from your inventory. Can I purchase a three inch tape? But I need a discount code, sir. And I'm just going to push it out. That way, this stays nice and sealed. I don't think he heard me. <laughs> Uh-oh, wait. Why are why is my tripod leaning? Okay. I don't know what was going on with my tripod, but okay. Oh, shoot. I forgot to turn on my press. Dang, it's going to take it a little while for it to heat up. But that's okay. We're going to do this one. Now... I'll show it since someone didn't listen to me when I said, can you bring me a three inch or can I buy a three inch? We're just going to use the two inch one. <laughs> and I still think he's ignoring me. Even. Oh, he's, oh, he might not be in, he might not be at his desk. And also if you have the smaller one, of course you can use that. But to me, the wider one just works better. But you can use your thin tape if all you have is thin tape. But this can end up being a lot of tape to go around it. So like I said, this one, I'm going to use the two inch. Again, this is just so that we can seal seal those edges so that it doesn't gas off. All right. I'm going, I'm going to move all this stuff out of the way so we can bring our Easy Press. Now, you can do this with your Cricut Easy Press, your Vavora Easy Press. Now, one thing I like about the way this stand is um, it has the little rubber pieces on the inside. So I'm just going to hold this up just like this. And Oops, hold on. Did I turn it off? No, I didn't. Okay, there we go. I'm just going to hold it up just like this so that I can put my tumbler to it. If you have a swing away, you can swing it out and just hold your tumbler up to it. 
Some people have said that they use their heat gun um, to, you know, you just have to kind of keep it moving around there. Or if you have like a wide mouth heat gun, you can do that. If you have just a small embossing one, you're going to have to make sure that you kind of uh, let that really heat up and keep it over it and just keep moving it around. If you have just an embossing or a heat gun, um, even if you have a clamshell, depending on how high your clamshell comes up, you may even be able to still put it to your clamshell like that. Okay. Um, uh, does the tape leave residue? No, ma'am. It does not. Uh, our tape is non-staining, non-marking. She says, now that is big tape. That's nothing. Hold on one second. Even. Can you bring me one of each? That's nothing. This four inch is nothing compared to the six. Uh, let's see. Where do I get my tumblers from? Um, I've gotten tumblers from a lot of different places, from Amazon, from the blank spot, from JB's, uh, JB Sublimation Blanks and More, from, um, uh, I had some that I got directly from China, but the ones that I, like, I'm using now because it's just easier is from Johnson's Plastics Plus. Oh, this one is not ours. This is, that's the eight inch. Oh, we don't have the eight inch. This is three, two, I'll show you the 8-inch, although we don't carry the 8-inch right now, but I will show you the 8-inch. But I get mine from Johnson's Plastics Plus, and well, so it's jpplus.com. If you use my code 9PKD6, you can get your tumblers for $5.35 from a U.S., like a true U.S.-like supplier. So 9PKD6 gets you 15% off of any of the blanks that are um, and things like that, that you purchase whether it's for acrylic, if you do acrylic, if you do engraving, if you do, yeah, that's the one I'm um, If you do sublimation, they have all sorts of blanks on their site. So johnsonsplasticsplus.com. And if I can get someone to write it in the comment section, but it's also on my link tree, nine, P as in Paul, K, uh, Lord, nine P, K, D, six. So nine, P as in Paul, K as in uh, kite, D is in Delta 6, 9PKD6 is the code for 15% off of Johnson's Plastics Plus. So we have the half inch, the one inch, the two inch, the three inch, the four inch, and the six. So we carry all of those sizes, half an inch to six inch. Don't ask me why we skip five. And then we will eventually get the eight inch. This is what I used to use to wrap my tumblers because it's eight. I just like literally put the whole, once I do the ends, I put it there and I wrap the whole tumbler one time with my eight inch. So we will eventually have this, but nope, it does not leave a residue. It's non-staining, non-marking. Uh, let's see. And why haven't I been doing this? <laughs> I put my QR code on the bottom. You can definitely do that as well if you want to put a QR code. Um, I wouldn't. I'm okay. So when you're doing QR codes, here's it. Um, hold on. Let me let me get up a tumbler for you guys. Word to the wise, if you do a QR code this big, because of the curve, it will not scan uh, because it's curving. You want it to actually be smaller. Smaller is actually better when it comes to QR codes on tumblers. Don't do this. They don't scan well when they are this big, okay? You want to do, I thought I had them. Oh, here it is right here. This is a really good size. So this should scan if you're like on watching on the computer and then you scan it, this one should scan. So this is a more appropriate size than this one. And if you're putting it on the bottom, she said she puts it on the bottom. That means it's going to be really small. You don't need a big QR code. All right, let's see. We are at temperature. So let's get to getting uh let's see 
What else did I miss? I'm watching from work. Shh, okay, I won't talk so loud. I find that color fades over time on the tumbler, on the bottom of the tumbler. Yes, the, the link is in my bio. All right. So we're going to take this and I like to put my timer on just so that I know how long it's been there. I think this is set to like 45 seconds. And this is why it's important to do the proper measurement so that it stays in the flat area of the tumbler. If it's close to the edges where it curves, you're not going to get heat and even pressure. I just want this one to go. And this is, you know, this is metal. So 30 seconds really does work, uh, but it was already starting to count down. I put it on there. So I wanted to go for a little bit longer and stop that one. All right. I feel it. It's pretty hot. So we should be good on that one. And now we're going to do this one. All right, I'm going to take a quick peek before I take the whole thing off just to be on the surf side. Yeah, I think I need it with I put I need to go just a little bit longer um with the full tape one. I did realize that uh one of these ones I did, I forgot. I did need to go a little bit longer when I put the heat tape all the way around it. So And make sure you're pushing it on it so it's getting good pressure. So you want to apply the pressure and push it onto the heating element. And this is why I say that. I mean, this is kind of cool if you don't have any of, like, you're not doing a lot of orders. But if you are someone that's doing a lot of orders, I highly recommend getting um, permanent adhesive vinyl decals for the bottom. Um, because this can be time consuming, but this is a great way to start off to kind of like just get it going. And then once you're making money and you, you know, you're doing a lot of these and this becomes a bit much, then, you know, you're going to invest in something. Oh, it's beeping. You're going to invest in something that's going to be a little bit more efficient. So if you are interested in them, we will have, um, we will have those options, but you can always email me if you're interested. Now we're working on, you know, adding stuff to the site. So we can help other uh, small businesses with uh, smaller jobs compared to going to some of the bigger companies. So if you um, need to get decals and things made for your business, if you want to have stickers, you know, we put the decals on our boxes. If you want to brand your boxes, kind of have a sticker that you can seal your poly mailers with and things like that. Uh, we will be we will have an option where you can purchase them from us, but your art must be ready to go if it's not there's a fee there's a setup fee if we have to set it up for you but if your artwork is ready to go um we can print those out for you all right i'm gonna just move this back hush
So there's that one. Wait, I gotta figure out the perfect angle for you guys up here. There's that one. And then there's that one. That one came out a lot better. And sometimes I think uh, Trina said sometimes she found that on some of her tumblers, it faded over time. And it may just be the different brands of tumblers, how it takes it. Because some companies, when they're coating them, it all depends on how they're like how they're coating it. If they have a coater that just pretty much does here, you may only have a little bit of coating on the side and not toward the middle. If you have a company that's doing the coating, like, and it basically uh, does a downward spray or like an overspray, you'll have it. So it, you know, you'll have to kind of test out your tumblers. If you have before, maybe before you do this, like with sublimation, if you have tumblers that are oops tumblers for yourself, try this, let it sit for a little while before you incorporate doing this, just to make sure that it doesn't completely like blur, but not all tumblers are created equal in how they put the spray and the, the sublimation coating on it, okay? But there's that one. You are incredible. And I will end up doing another video and I'll show you guys with the decals where you'll just be able to peel and stick. And because it's permanent adhesive vinyl, you don't have to worry about it coming off in the wash. I mean, I put mine on here. It doesn't come off. I've washed this so many times. It's one of my, look, you can tell I use this one. I really use this one. Um, it's all kind of scratched up here. And I just kind of put that on there just to see so I can keep washing it and see if it lasts. That's how I know it lasts. And then I have this one. This is a sublimation wrap uh, with the adhesive vinyl. Um, some of these are oops tumblers and I just put the wrap on it. So you guys know that we are, I'm starting to send, get rid of some of these things and send them out because I mean, they're just sitting here. So I might as well say thank you for your order. Um, and that's where I got this idea from. And it, at first it says this was used by Shakir, the professor, uh, to teach creatives to unlock their creativity. So, you know, that this is like something I use like in a learning setting, but I'll just put a card in there with it to say that that's what it is. So it's not going to be perfect tumblers when you get this, but it's a gift from the professor from me teaching. So some of these may have um, cover-ups, which is vinyl. Um, some of them may be oopsie sublimation tumblers and mugs. We got a bunch of those and we have a bunch of shirts too. So you'll get to see how our shirt, how our ink and paper works on shirts and different things like that. So be on the lookout in your orders for different little things that will be added to it. Um, so the template for it, I did it as a tutorial in the 30 day training. So if you are in, uh, the 30 day, if you've enrolled in the 30 day training for, uh, to learn how to use Silhouette Studio, I did a live video, uh, earlier today showing how to do the template day 20, like just day 27 goes over how to do templates. Like it's already built into the course. But as a refresher, I did the template for these in the group. And there's an exclusive like um, YouTube link as well that I'm going to post in the on your dashboard. All right. I got some items brewing in my head already. Uh, let's see. Now you're making me want to sublimate another tumbler. All right. Let me go over here to Facebook and YouTube. I've been over here with TikTok because they be giving. They be, they be coming with the comments over on TikTok. Uh, let's see. Definitely love doing summation tumblers. I learned summation tumblers from the professor. Doing tumblers for holiday gifts. Yes, really good. That one is a really, really good one. Um, even if you're not selling them this year, make it something where it's the gift that you give. Uh, you guys have to remember, we got into this, most people got into this as a hobby. 
not necessarily for business. How I started was I was doing things for, for gifts. So I would go and make, you know, custom onesies and stuff and take it, you know, and it's a baby shower gift. And when it's open, it's like, oh, wow, wait, that's custom. That's personal. Where you got that from? So now everybody at that baby shower is now a potential customer because they want to know where did that come from? So you definitely use your resources, save yourself some money on gifts and make your gifts. And it also becomes advertising, guys. That is how you truly get your name out there. Um, I've stopped them, but haven't been crafting. Ooh, y'all need to go ahead and ha have y'all a craft and meet and greet. Um, I do tell them, wait, I do tell them want to uh, learn how to elevate it plus not mess up so many. Um, let's see. Uh, I tried to brand the white box with sublimation. I mean, you can do that. It does blur off. I don't really recommend that. It's not, I mean, I see a lot of people doing it. I, from my type of quality, I don't really care for it, but some people love doing it. I personally don't. Um, let's see. Yay, I finally wanted to know how. Um, yes, I reply back. I said, thank you. I realized it after the fact. Um, am I going to show how I designed it? I did show how to design it, but in my 30 day course, it's not going to be in this video. So you have to join my 30 day training. If you want to see how I, how I set it up. Um, I've been wanting to do this for a while, but I haven't attempted to make the template yet. Um, and I will probably also do, I mean, you can either learn how to do it yourself. But if you have my template vault, I will add that to it. I mean, it's just circles, but I'll add that to it. You guys still know how to put your information in it. Um, good afternoon, Professor and everyone. Uh, let's see. I have a Cricut mug press. So this doesn't necessarily work with the Cricut mug press for the bottom of this. You will need an easy press, something flat. Um, but you can do the whole thing with a Cricut mug press. My girl Chrissy has a quick little video over on TikTok if you want to go check that out um, and how to do how she does it with the silicone bands. Um, is the color chart in the essentials to, no. So my color chart is not included in any class. You have to purchase it from the website. Yes, a logo, not a cartoon, exactly. Um, what is the size of the bottom design? Sorry, I missed it. Um, I really don't know. I created the template. I did text to path to get it on there. So I really don't have like a, a size that I can give to you because it was based off of the template that I created. Um, let's see. I brought the next tool. Can't wait for it to come. You ever think you could use a laser? Um, on the bottom of it, you're asking me if I ever plan to use a laser cutter or if I can use a laser on the bottom of the tumbler. Laser, I mean, it's something that's intriguing. Even wanted a Glowforge. Uh, he likes the idea of, you know, doing laser. And they showed it, like, uh, putting it on, like, iPads and, like, phones and stuff like that. I have not. Um, I'm not there. I like the look of laser stuff. I like watching people do it. Uh, my girl, um, what is it? Uh, God, KK Customs. Is that the name of it? Oh, God. It was something Dreams. Thing, I can't think of her name, but she does some amazing laser stuff. Um, the craft print does some amazing laser stuff. So I like to watch it. I haven't, I haven't gotten into it yet. It's just a lot. Like you, the more things you add, if you're really trying to do big business on, you got to add more staff for that and get them trained on it. So I'm not looking to jump into it just yet. Um, would this method work if you're setting the tumbler already? If wait, set in the tumbler already in the tumbler, I want to knock the whole thing out. So here's the thing with that. I mean, you possibly can. So you would go ahead and wrap it, put that there, and then do the tape. But here's the thing. When you tape your tumbler, for me, I tape the ends so that it seals the ends. So if I do that, I'm going to end up with tape already here. So if you're very strategic in it and getting that down, maybe taping the inside so it stays in place and then taping this side and the top at one time, maybe you can do it that way. So you'll have to play around with it. But for me and how I do mine um, and how I tape it, 
that wouldn't sit flat to where I well to where I could make it flat because tape would already be on the bottom. Uh, yes, any flat any flat heating element will work. Yeah, any. Oh, so she says I put two or three on a plate at a time. Place a heavy book on top. No holding the tumbler. So yeah, if you have a hot plate, you know, like the griddle, you can use that as well. Any any flat surface, flat heating surface. Uh, Cleveland, Ohio, just got out of the hospital, glad to be able to watch this. Um, I pray for a speedy recovery um, and healing from the top of your head to the soles of your feet. Um, um, I use my Easy Press. That's what I've been doing, making gifts. Um, I'm having issues with having a seamless press. Uh, I mean, it can be a number of things. I went over it. So um, in my celebration seminar, we went through different, different. Um, I guess you could say like sample runs where we focus on just doing the scene. If you go and you're doing the whole tumbler, you're going to mess up tumblers, mess up tumblers, mess up tumblers. So if you want to um, take our summation seminar, it was, it was six days. It's a lot of information in it. I mean, a lot of information. It's going to answer a lot of your questions, troubleshooting questions, everything. I leave no stone unturned. But um, on the last day, we're doing this. As you can see, there's this one. I mean, and this even overlaps because, I mean, I just need it to be, I was trying to get as close as possible. So you want to maybe practice doing your scenes and you're focusing on just the scenes and focus on doing that. And you'll get better and better and better. So then you won't have as many issues when you do a full tumbler. Oh, that's a good idea. See the ladies on the bottom too. Um, how do you get access to our vault? My vault? You're going to go to our website, shop.hsinc365.com. And you're going to go to where it says template vault. Uh, there was a price. Hold on one second. I'm going to try and find the, the link for it. Actually, is it still active on there? I think it is. Yeah, so let me get that link. Uh, view, copy, and there you go. All right. So let's see. I use a circle disc for the center part. Oh, you put the black rubber pieces. I don't really like those. I feel like it makes it teeter. I really don't like, I have a whole bunch of those black rubber pieces. I never use them. I don't like the black rubber piece. But yeah, that's how you do that. I don't want this video to be dragged out of me too long. Um, if you just if you're just uh, jumping on, you'll just have to go back and watch the playback. But we uh, sublimated the bottom of these and branded them. That way, you can leave like a thank you message. You can still have your website on the bottom in case they want to share with somebody else. As like someone else said, you can also put your QR code on the bottom. Um, I have some tumblers. When I remember to, <laughs> I'll put the my logo right there on the side as well. And I just use my, I use my Easy Press. But if you have a flatbed griddle and you're doing a bunch of them, you can go put something like, you know, put it down. Like she said, put a book on top. You can use your heat press. As long as you just have a flat heated surface and you apply the pressure, however you decide to do it, it's going to work for you. All right. Um, oh, like these, hold on. So you purchase, oh, that's a really cool idea too, Chrissy. I like that. Wait, where are my ones for this? Um, I see my, I'm going to show y'all what she's referring to. I, I have started to see they sell these individuals now these were for like they'll come with jewelry they'll come with like 
the uh, badge reels. So it's the little disc for this. You can sublimate this and then use the 3M adhesive. And then put that in the bottom, just like that. Yep, you can do that as well for your QR codes. So if you want to sub it and have your QR code. Yeah, a lot of people have been selling this. I'll see if D and Eric from the blank spot have these um, by themselves. But I, because a lot of people were saying like when they're doing jewelry, if they mess one up, they didn't have replacements. So quite a few companies on Amazon and some other places have started selling the disc by itself. So you can get these, sub it, and then put it right there in the middle like that. Yep, but mine came with these, the badge reels. And that's just stuck there. All right, so let's see. She says, I got the mini ones from Amazon for that very reason. A uh, perfect fit. Yep. I'll go and I'll I'll add the link to it to my link tree unless I think you have some you have a, a store storefront on yours as well. So if you go to Crafts by Chrissy 87's um TikTok and go to her link tree, I believe you have an Amazon store as well, correct? And you'll be able to find it there. But I'll I'll put it on my link tree also. All right. All right, so if there are no additional questions, I don't see any more that are posted. Don't forget to visit our website, shop.hse365.com, and that's where you're going to find the heat tape. You can go over to um, Essentials, and the heat tape is right there. If you have a Workforce 7710, 7720, or any of the old ones, not any of the new ones, you can get your chip resetter. Your principal color chart is right here. There's the regular one. There's the one for skin tones, um, your fade bars, all that kind of good jazz. So you can go right under essentials and you will find the color chart. And like I said, it's already set up for a 20 ounce tumbler. Okay. Uh, just a list. Okay. Well, I don't mean a store, but it's, it's an affiliate list, right? So you'll get some type of credit from it. All right. All right, y'all. Thank you guys so very much for joining me. Until next time, have a great one. Continue to unlock your creativity and be incredible. Peace.